Okay, I've officially moved into the new house. I did not do a lot of filming yesterday because it was absolute chaos yesterday. Anything that could have gone wrong with this move went wrong. So U-Haul reservation got messed up. So I was given a smaller truck, which means we had to take more trips back and forth from the old house to the new house. Luckily my old house and my new house are only 20 minutes away from each other. So we didn't have to drive super far, but it was still a big inconvenience. Then the first comes and we are moving from eight in the morning and we did not finish until midnight, literally midnight. I think I got home this morning at one in the morning. It was like one, one fifteen. I got home and then I needed to, you know, take care of all my animals, I needed to dig through all these boxes to try to find any type of shampoo and soap so I can wash myself. I washed my hair with just shampoo last night and my hair is still wet because I literally just put it up and I have no idea where anything is and I'm gonna show you why. It's like absolute chaos in here. I know where nothing is. And we were so exhausted yesterday. It was only my parents and my mom is disabled so she could only really help clean. And then my dad and my boyfriend did a lot of the heavy lifting. My sister helped a lot and it was just us. Um, didn't have movers. Uh, animal cages that I thought that we'd be able to just pick up and move out of the room ended up not fitting out the door or down the stairs. So we had to completely disassemble two gigantic guinea pig cages which took up like an hour or two of our time. I had an extreme panic attack at home. Probably the worst panic attack I've ever had. Like I was hyperventilating, passing out. It was so bad. I was like not mentally well yesterday because I just felt so stressed out. I felt guilty because everybody was like so exhausted because of me and I just like didn't, I just n did not feel good. Everything's in the new house. The old house looked great at move out. I wish I had footage of what it looked like when I left, but it was literally, like right at the time crunch of when I needed to be out of the house and I just took pictures and I just did not have time. So that house is being inspected today. So we'll see if I get my deposit back or not or how much of my deposit I'll get back. I hope, I my deposit was $1,800 I believe. So if I could get at least a thousand back, I know there was like a couple things in the house, like a couple little stains on the floor that I couldn't get up but the walls looked great. Everything was like super clean. So I'm not too worried about the cleaning issue. And honestly, this house that I just moved into, it's owned by the same rental company. And this house was like not clean, professionally cleaned at all. Um, the walls look awful. Whoever patched them up definitely did a terrible job. Showers in the bathtub are like yellow and gross. Like I literally had to scrub them down before I took a shower last night because I feel so gross taking showers after somebody that I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was just a lot. I didn't go to sleep till like 3.30 in the morning and I had a really rough sleep because I'm in a whole new house and I just, and my air conditioner's not working so I was super cold and it was just a lot. So I'm currently waiting for AT&T to get here and also the maintenance guy for the house is supposed to be coming today too to fix my heating and air and also to fix the leaks in my kitchen sink and my bathroom sink. So hopefully all of that gets fixed today, I'm hoping. And then today I'm just gonna focus on trying to move around furniture to where it needs to go and unbox boxes the best that I can right now. I know that's a lot of talking, but like I said, a lot happened and I, yeah. So I need to show you guys what the garage looks like right now. That's what I'm most stressed out about because not everything is in here. Like most of the stuff is in the garage because we were so low on time yesterday that we were just taking stuff out of the U-Haul and throwing it into the garage. Like it, we just didn't have time. And we were also so tired. I have never smelled so bad in my life. And I've also never sweated so bad in my life. My ankles and my feet literally feel like they're gonna fall off. The hard part's over. Now I just gotta do this. And once I have internet and I can like plug my TV in and watch TV while I'm doing all of this, I can definitely like get it done. And also another issue is the bugs here. Cause I'm kind of in like the backwoods in this house. Um, I'm in like a little tiny neighborhood, but the neighborhood is tucked into like a bunch of trees. So the bugs are bad. The mosquitoes are already bad here in Georgia. They're really, really bad here. I've had, uh, I think there was like 20 to 30 crane flies. And if you don't know what a crane fly is, Look it up. I think it's a type of mosquito. They're like this big. I actually have one on the wall right now. I'll literally show you. About 20 to 30 of these fly into my house last night. So you could probably imagine why I couldn't sleep very well because they were like 
flying on me. They look tiny on camera, but they're gigantic. They're harmless. They literally have a lifespan of like one to three days. And they're basically just meals for like frogs and other reptiles and stuff. So like they don't bite, but I still like don't want them in my house. So I also contacted a pest control to come spray the house too because I just know that the fleas in this yard is probably really bad for my dogs and everything. And they're on flea control, but like I need it controlled. So yeah, there's a couple damages like in the ceiling. There's like some things that I could see that were patched up. There's damages in the ceiling up there, but this house is old. It was built in like 2001 or something like that, which is way older than the older house. That other house that I just moved out of was built in 2018. So that's a significant time difference. And um, I knew that this house wouldn't be perfect. That's why it was so cheap, but we're gonna make it look beautiful. We just need to unbox everything. So let me show you the garage. Also, I just need to show you guys what the house looks like. So this is the living room. These are where the bookshelves are gonna go, but all the book boxes are right there. We were literally just throwing things in here. I'm not even joking, guys. So here's the entryway. The cats are doing great, by the way. All the animals are doing great. Here's the entryway. Here is the hallway. Bathrooms on the left. Two pet rooms. I'm not going to open them right now. And my bedroom. Here's what the bedroom looks like. The dogs are in here right now because the AT&T guy is about to get here. So there's that. Here's the cats. The cats are actually doing way better than I thought they would. Last night, um, I kept them in the bathroom during the entire move with like their litter boxes and food and stuff. And then I let them free roam the bedroom only last night and they slept with me all night and they got to relax into the new house. And then this morning I let them free roam the whole house and now they're back to normal. So normal personalities and everything. Last night they were a little mean to each other, but I think they were just stressed out. Here's the outside, which is the best part of the entire house, as you can see. I put the little fences up back there. So I also need to secure them a little bit better in a little bit because it's supposed to storm really bad tonight. You can't even see them, I bet, but it's beautiful out there this morning. I, I woke up at eight this morning and I put those out there. Here's the kitchen. I One thing that I love the most about this house is the appliances. I do actually have some pretty fancy appliances. So I have this beautiful, um, I forgot the, this brand. I don't know why I forgot this brand. It's a popular brand but beautiful, beautiful appliances. This Samsung fancy microwave, and there's also a Samsung oven as well, but it's covered by boxes. So yeah, I moved my cat's litter boxes in here, and I put a gate there so my dogs can't come in and eat their poop, because they definitely will do that. Okay, so the washer and dryer have been put in here. So that's great. I'll turn the lights on so you guys can see better. Um, This is my garage. <laughs> This is full of clothes, guinea pig stuff, the like pet stuff, TVs, um, cleaning supplies, craft supplies. Um, literally all of the above are in this garage right now. I don't know where anything is. Like literally it's an abyss. We have this one little trail that we made right here. Random stuff. Um, I actually needed this and so my Swiffer's already out there. So that's actually perfect that those are right there. But I just slowly need to start bringing everything in which I just don't have the energy for that right now. Like I genuinely don't even know where my batteries are for this camera. So my camera is literally about to die and I don't even know how much I'm gonna be able to film of me unpacking. But I feel like I should start in the kitchen because the kitchen boxes are all in there so I can just start opening them. And while the at t guy is here, I'll start working on the kitchen. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna also try to find the batteries for my camera. Okay, so it's actually many, many hours later. I took a much needed like three hour nap. Like I was knocked out dead. The air conditioning and heat is fixed. The leaks are fixed and I have internet. So don't have to worry about any more maintenance people right now coming to my house. So I was able to just literally calm down and relax and just take a fat nap over here on the couch. I got like four phone calls and I didn't, 
wake up to any of them. Like yeah, I did unpack some boxes in the kitchen while AT&T guy was here, but I didn't want to film while he was here because that's weird. So I didn't do that, but I will start unpacking some stuff with you guys. But I wanted to show you some stuff that I bought from Amazon for the new house. There's going to be a lot of just new house decor hauls in these videos because I'm just slowly going to start buying stuff. A lot of my house decor theme items are actually at five below. And I've noticed that some other places like Home Goods and Hobby Lobby have a lot of the aesthetic that I want to look for as well. I'm eventually gonna try to look there too, but earlier I got some lights. I bought some solar paneled string lights from Amazon and I put them out on my little fence gate outside already. I don't know if they're gonna work tonight because they, it says that they need to fully charge for an entire day to be able to light up the entire night. I have not seen them light up yet. I don't know if it's quite dark enough outside yet. So we'll see if they work tonight. If they don't work tomorrow, I definitely need to return them. But I was really hoping that the solar paneled stuff would work because if not, I did buy this like 10 foot extension cord so I could use this to plug in like real lights out there, but I'd rather be solar paneled, so. But this right here is a new litter mat for my cats. So like I showed you guys earlier, their litter box is in the kitchen and I wanted to get a cute mat to catch the litter because I threw away the old one. And this is kind of the aesthetic that I'm going to be going for in this house. Colorful, bright, happy, um, I think it's called like retro eclectic or like modern retro or something like that. Like it's not quite retro, but it has the vibes of it. So yeah, I got the big one. I'll put a link for it down below in my Amazon storefront. All the stuff that I get for the new house, I'll just put on a little storefront together so you guys can just click it. It does have little creases in it. I hope those go away, but this is so cute. It's like pastel rainbow, kind of like how my hair was before the, it faded very quickly. Hats, and it's like this really like squishy waterproof fabric. So I can easily take it outside, shake it off and wash it down with a hose. First, we have actual shampoo and conditioner. Um, I know a lot of people hate on Aussie, but I absolutely love, this is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. People always ask me what I use. I either use Arctic Fox's shampoo and conditioner because that is sulfate free, or if I'm feeling like I really need to scrub the crap out of my scalp and like the sulfate free is just not working, I use this. And the conditioner makes my hair so soft and it's so affordable. So that's my favorite shampoo and conditioner. And since I can't find my box with my shampoo and conditioner in it, I needed to buy some more. And while I wait to be able to pay for pest control, cause it's going to be like $150 for the size of my house and the amount of mosquitoes and everything there are. I'm going to try this because I saw a lot of reviews online raving about this stuff when it comes to mosquitoes. So this is the Cutter Backyard Bug Control. You hook it to your hose outside and it covers up to 5,000 square feet of lawn and it kills mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. And you know what? It had really good reviews. It was $5 on Amazon, which is a lot cheaper than paying for pest control, which I'm still gonna pay for, but I figured it was a good start too for me to just do myself. I've only seen a couple little spiders, which doesn't bother me. It's just the mosquitoes that are bothersome to me because they are just like so gross and big and annoying. And I bought a 50 count of black trash bags because I use black trash bags for all of my animals hay, litter, all that stuff to throw away. And it just, they these last better and hold trash better than the white ones. So yeah, I actually really like Amazon Basics brand of trash bags. They work really good for the price. So that was my random home stuff haul. Like it's literally the most random set of things. But um, now that I'm starting to wake up a little bit, I am going to finish unpacking my kitchen stuff. I have already unboxed like six or seven boxes, which I'm pretty proud of. And I've been able to make like a pretty decent walkway.
you guys, it is the next day. Actually, I don't even know if I filmed anything yesterday. If I did, I think it was just the bathroom. So yesterday I spent the morning shopping. <laughs> um, I was able to rope my mom to going shopping with me. I bought $200 worth of things for this house, which was my budget. My budget was 200. I actually spent 198, which I was very proud of myself. So I got a bunch of home decor from Five Below and stuff that I needed from Walmart as well. And then I came home and stuff up in the bathroom. And then I literally don't even remember the rest of the stuff that I did. So today is my last day of freedom. I go back to work tomorrow and then I work Friday, Saturday, and then I'll have Sunday off. And then I work all week next week. Yeah, my parents are coming over Saturday while I'm at work to try to unpack some things for me. But today I really need to focus on building my guinea pig cages because my guinea pigs cannot stay in those temporary cages. Like it's just, I don't believe in guinea pigs being in temporary cages for like weeks at a time. I just don't think that's okay. So it's been three days, I think, two or three days and I want to get them into proper cages. So I'm gonna focus on that. I'm kind of in a bad mood because I just got my inspection report for the house that I just moved out of. And I'm only getting $300 of my deposit back, $300. My deposit was $1,850 when I moved in two and a half years ago. The charges that they're charging me is like 1530 or something like that. They're charging me to paint the entire downstairs, even though it didn't need to be painted. They are charging me to replace all the, the blinds. They are charging me to replace all the light bulbs. They charged me $300 for a professional cleaner to come in and clean, even though I did that. They're charging me for plumbing. How plumbing is my fault, I don't know. Um, they are charging me to replace the microwave. They are charging me to replace toilet seats. Like they're literally charging me for things that are considered normal wear and tear. I thought I was gonna get at least a thousand dollars back and I'm getting not even 300 back. So awesome. Love that for me, love that. I just fucking hate landlords. I hate renting so fucking much because at least with buying a house and owning a house, you yourself are responsible for everything and you could trust yourself to do what you need to do. But like landlords, you can't trust. And also the bugs here in this house are so bad. I just killed the biggest spider I've ever fucking seen in my life. I don't know what kind of spider it was. I've never seen it before. It was literally like this big and it was black. Like it was huge and I just, stomp the shit out of it. I'm sorry if you guys are spider people, but like, I just don't. Um, I did spray the entire outside in the, my yard with that bug spray that I got, that I showed you guys. And I have not seen one mosquito since I sprayed yesterday, which is exactly what I wanted. No more crane flies. I'm gonna see how long it lasts because it rains a lot here during the spring and summer. So it may not last very long. Um, and I'm just scared that I'm gonna like move a box and just like a giant spider is gonna come jump out at me. Yeah, right now I'm actually gonna focus on like organizing all of this. I'm not going to be able to unpack all of these because these are all books. This is just not my priority right now, but I'm gonna try to move them out of the way so I can set up the bookshelves how I want them so I can push everything to the corner. So let's go ahead and do that. I also have groceries on the way because I have no food. Like I literally emptied out my fridge and I just have like salad dressing in my fridge right now. All right, so it's April 4th, it's the end of the day. So I go back to work tomorrow on the 5th, sadly. But I feel like I got a lot done today. I did take a really long nap today because uh, my body's just kind of catching up from packing and moving these past like 12 days that I just am trying to catch up on my sleep. 
Hopefully I'll start feeling a lot better next week once I get back in the routine of working and everything too. But I still feel like I got a lot done today. Well, so I got groceries, so that's great. I'm about to eat a really great dinner. And then I kind of organized all of the book boxes over there, organized the bookshelves. I have room for many more bookshelves, which, you know, is always a really positive thing. Still don't really know what to do with this bean bag. I put this chair right here for right now. Um, this whole room is not going to be fully decorated how I want it for a while, but I feel like the chair doesn't look terrible right there. There's going to be an entertainment system there eventually that I want to buy. It's on my Amazon wish list. I'm just waiting till I can afford it because it's like $300. The TV's just going to sit on the floor <laughs> until I can buy that. Um, I tried turning the couch the other way when we first moved in and it just made the room look so much smaller. So I unfortunately had to turn the, the couch this way. If anybody has any layout recommendations, let me know. I really don't want to get rid of this bean bag because my boyfriend did buy it for me for Christmas and I know he would be upset. And I actually genuinely do love it. It may fit in my bedroom after I get my bedroom and everything situated this weekend, so we'll see. I don't know, I feel like it just really closes up the space and I just don't really know how it's gonna work with any room until I get all these boxes out of the way, so. But yeah, that chair is there for right now because I do love the chair too. I just don't know what to do. And then all of the stuff that I got the past couple days, I'm just gonna stack in this corner until I start decorating the house. If you guys want a full uh, Five Below and Walmart haul, I posted an exclusive Patreon video hauling everything. It was like a 14 minute video. So if you guys wanna support me on Patreon, I did post that haul over on there. But I do have an Amazon package to open real quick before I end this video and start the next one. So um, let's just go ahead and do it. I also wanted to mention that I did finish putting the cages up in the guinea pig room today. And guys, the pet room, it looks so good. I've never been so happy with a layout before. Pigs fit perfectly in there. I made the cages outline the entire wall and it just looks so great. And I filmed it for my pet channel, so stay tuned for that. I haven't finished decorating, but the cages are done and I'm just absolutely obsessed. So I got this gigantic Amazon package today. There's gonna be a lot of um, just random Amazon packages from this point forward because I just tend to find the things that I like over on Amazon. I've also had a couple people ask if I had a wish list for the house. I do have an Amazon wish list. I'll put it down below. If you guys wanna get me something, you don't have to. I will unbox it on these moving vlogs and eventually use it to decorate my house because I put a lot of house decor on there. I got some stuff that I kind of needed. So I got some new bath towels. All of my bath towels were really old, bleach stained, like they were just really going through it. So I just bought this pack of green ones because green matches my shower curtain that I just got. I'll put the, the link for it on my Amazon storefront. They're actually very soft. I'm very happy with the quality of them. We'll see how well they do in the wash, but I'm not too picky. And then I got myself a new bed comforter. Um, fortunately, I am getting a new bed. So my little sister, they also moved and she moved into a way, way, way smaller, like probably five times smaller bedroom than she was living in before. So she is actually downgrading her bed. And I really, really like her bed. It's like padded and it's white and I want more like light and airy colors in this house. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of my couch because I spent a thousand dollars on that. So I'm trying to work around the dark couch that I have, but the bed will be white. And I wanted to kind of get more of a pink vibe in there. And none of my comforters really just fit well with what I'm going for. So I got this whole bed comforter set. It had really good reviews on Amazon. This is the most I've spent on an item. This was like $75 or something like that, which I don't typically want to spend that much, but it's a whole comforter set. It comes with like sheets and everything too, I believe. I don't know, but I got the queen size and it's like checkerboard pink and it's gonna look really nice with the headboard. So I'm gonna take all of these and wash them. And then in the future, you guys will see me putting this on the actual bed itself once my bed is not on the floor it's actually built. I also ordered some bed sheets and also just necessities that I need for the bathroom and stuff, which I'll show you guys in the next video. But I don't know how long this video has been. It was probably so chaotic seeing me like moving and then all the stuff here. I am proud, it's only been a couple days and I've done a pretty decent amount. I think it just doesn't look like it a lot to me because 
my books take up like 20 boxes and my garage is still full. But I think when my parents come this weekend and they start unpacking stuff for me and I have more hands helping me, I will finally start to like relax and be less stressed. Tomorrow at work is going to be rough, I'm not gonna lie. An eight hour shift after, you know, needing and knowing in my mind that I need to go unpack my house is gonna suck, but I need to get back into the life routine of everything. I just wanna thank you guys so much for the support. This series has actually been doing really good here on YouTube and on TikTok. So I'm so glad you guys are watching and supporting because it really helps me a lot. You guys are the reason I'm able to live on my own and have a house. I'm absolutely genuinely loving this house, even though there were some mishaps and there are some cosmetic issues in some parts of the house. I still really love it. I can afford it. It's so much more affordable. The size of it is just perfect for me. Like literally, I love having a ranch house. It's so nice. The yard, beautiful. Haven't had any issues knock on wood with any of the neighbors. Um, my neighbors are very old people, like very old people. And everybody seems to mind their business. And I'm very, very happy. And there's just like really good positive vibes in this house. I don't know if uh, some of you guys have picked up on like, this house just feels nice and it genuinely does. And I'm just really into it and I'm really happy. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have all my links for social medias down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.